Good morning, dear students. Exercise 7.3, question number 4. Listen. Given a cylinder. This cylinder is full of water. You imagine that this cylinder is full of water. And what we do next? See, there is another solid. A cone. A cone surmounted on a hemisphere. This cone is surmounted on a hemisphere. This is another solid material. See, first of all, this cylinder is full of water. Okay, then you assume another solid like this, a shape in the form of a cone surmounted on a hemisphere. See, this solid material is immersed in the water inside the cylinder. It is immersed. What will happen when we immerse some object inside the water? So, see, at first, the cylinder is full of water. When we keep this solid material inside that water. When we immerse this inside the water, what will happen? Some water, amount of water will be displaced, spores out. Okay, we are asked to find out how much amount of water is displaced, how much amount of water is poured out, or the volume of water. Okay, that's the question. So, what is it? <coughs> Here we use that argument as a principle. Okay, amount of water displaced, or the volume of water displaced, is equal to volume of water displaced is equal to the volume of the object inside the object inside so the water displaced means water will be displaced in the form of a cylinder water is already in the shape of a cylinder water takes the shape of a container so water is in the shape of the cylinder so that amount of water okay comes out you listen volume of water displaced is equal to volume of the metal inside or the material inside. The material is volume of the core plus volume of the hemisphere. So, this is kept in most here. So, amount of water displaced is equal to the volume of the Material immersed. What is the material immersed? Cone plus hemisphere. So we do like this. Volume of water displaced is equal. So volume of the cone. Volume of the cone is we know it is 1 by 3 pi r square h plus 2 by 3 pi r cube. That is equal. What is common here? 1 by 3 pi r square is common. 1 by 3 pi r square. Then h plus 1 by 3 came out, so we have a 2 here. Pi r square is already outside, so 2r. H plus 2r. So that is equal to 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into r square. What is the radius? 6. 6 into 6. H. Height of the cone is 12. Is given here, okay? Height of the conical part is 12 cm. From here to here is 12. So 12 plus 2 into 6. Now this 3 and 6 you can cancel, this 3 and 6 you can cancel here 2 times. So 22 into 2, so 44 into 6. So I write like that, 44 into 6 by 7. Then, this is 12 plus 12, 24 into 24. So that is equal to. I don't think we can cancel something with the 7, so now that we have to multiply everything. 44 into 6 is, or we can multiply the 6 and 24. 144. 6 and 24, this is 144, then this 44. So this is 6, 3, 3, 6 divided by 7. So let's divide. So here x is 3, so we add on 0, then 
Five. Zero. One. Two. Then it comes to two. So, so stop here. Okay, it's nine on five point one four. Thank you.